We've just wrapped up week 12 of the year and we're going to get right into the dividend news. This week we've got eight decreases, which may be a sign of the times, and 14 increases. And we're starting right here with Badger Infrastructure Solutions with a 4.5% increase to their dividend. AIP Realty Trust has declared that they are decreasing their dividend by 50%. Forward yield is still pretty hefty at 7.14%. Ex-dividend date on March 30th with a pay date on April 17th. Oxford Industries is increasing their dividend by 8.2%. The forward yield will be 2.23% ex-dividend date in April on the 13th with a pay date on April 28th. And I did just want to draw your attention to the chart on the right where we can take a peek at how this company has performed in share price in the last five days, the market cap, forward PE, dividend yield, revenue growth year over year, and short interest. Builders Capital Mortgage has announced a reduction in their dividend by 2.2%. The forward yield is 8.74%. They go ex dividend March 30th with a pay date on April 28th. BRP has announced a 12.5% increase in their dividend, the forward yield at 0.65%, ex dividend date coming up on March 31st with a pay date on April 17th. Western Asset Mortgage Capital is decreasing their dividend by 12.5%. Forward yield is still very strong at 15.64%. Ex dividend date on March 31st with a pay date on April 26th. Dream Impact Trust is reducing their dividend by 60.1%. Forward yield is at 3.84%. Ex dividend date on March 30th with a pay date on April 14th. 12.1% increase from Mesa Royalty Trust, forward yield at 9.37%, ex dividend date on March 30th, with a pay date on April 28th. A 10% increase from AGF Management Limited, giving them a forward yield of 3.62%, ex dividend date is on April 10th, with a pay date on April 21st. Another double digit increase, but this one coming from Alvo Petro Energy. It's 16.7% from their prior dividend, giving them a forward yield of 11.27%. The ex dividend date is on March 30th with a pay date on April 14th. Some good news coming out of PNF Industries, who's decided to reinstate their quarterly dividend. They last paid this on February 12th of 2020. Forward yield will be 3.74%, ex dividend date on March 30th with a pay date on April 6th. ZTO Express has declared a special dividend of 37 cents per share. This goes ex dividend on April 5th with a pay date on April 28th. We have a 32.1% increase from Hugoton Royalty Trust. They go ex dividend on March 30th with a pay date on April 14th. And so you know, the yield for the trailing 12 months is 22.55%. Cross Timbers Royalty Trust has announced an increase in their dividend by 56.4%. The forward yield is 14.42%. The ex-dividend date, March 30th, with a pay date on April 14th. San Juan Basin Royalty Trust has increased their dividend by 64%. The forward yield is a whopping 45.52%. Ex-dividend date on March 30th, with a pay date on April 14th. We've got a 42.9% decrease coming from Permian Basin Royalty Trust. Forward yield is at 1.21%, ex dividend date on March 30th with a pay date on April 14th. Another decrease, this time coming from TDB split of 12.4%. The ex dividend date is on March 30th with the pay date on April 10th. Income Financial Trust has announced a decrease in their dividend of 0.7%. They go ex dividend on March 30th with a pay date on April 10th. We have a 1.8% increase from Care Trust REIT. Forward yield is at 5.92%. Ex dividend date on March 30th with a pay date on April 14th. Semper Energy went ex dividend on March 21st with a pay date coming up on April 15th, but they've also announced a 3.9% increase in their dividend. The trailing 12 months dividend yield is 3.24%. We've got a 5.9% increase in the dividend from Elm Communities. They went ex dividend on March 21st and the pay date is on April 5th. And of note, the trailing 12 months dividend yield is at 4.09%. Presidio Property Trust is raising their dividend by 4.8%. The forward yield is at 8.46%. The ex dividend date was on March 24th with a pay date on March 31st. Looks like Sentiment has declared their final dividend of 2.5 cents per share, the ex dividend date being June 1st with a pay date on June 23rd. TE Connectivity had announced previously a 5.4% increase in their dividend, forward yield being 1.9%, and they gave us the dates for the rest of the year. Well, actually the next four quarters. So we've got an ex dividend date on May 18th, August 17th, November 16th, and it looks like February 15th of 2024, with pay dates on June 2nd, September 1st, December 1st, and March 1st of 2024. 
6.7% increase in the dividend coming from Melcor Developments. Forward yields at 5.59%. Ex-dividend date on March 23rd already happened, and it's payable on March 31st. Upcoming pay date is on April 5th. April 5th, thanks. Oh my heavens. Or it went. It went. It's already done. I'm way too tired to be doing this. Oh, good heavens. And again. It's on March 24th, and the pay... <laughs> March 24th. <laughs> oh, I will get through this. And here we go. And if you're so inclined, go and take a peek at this video next.